Welcome to the Senior Tech Club. I hope that it is not your phone ringing during a church service or a movie. You know, an important skill with your iPhone is controlling the ringer of the phone. This tech recipe will make sure that it's not your phone that rings during that solemn religious service or at the worst possible time. Stay tuned and we'll explore this in Senior Tech Recipe number 101. Hi, I'm Don. You know, most of us have probably been in church or movie and someone's phone rings. It has to be embarrassing for that person. Silencing your phone and putting your phone on vibrate should be your standard action when you attend church, a movie, a concert, or any place where you do not want your phone to ring. Putting your phone on vibrate will turn off the ringer for phone calls, text messages, and notifications and replace the ring with a quiet vibration. Your phone will still receive calls and messages. However, you need to recognize that a vibrating phone sitting on a hard surface like a table can still be disruptive to a meeting or event. So how do you put your phone on vibrate? You will find the ring silence switch on your iPhone on the upper left side above the volume buttons. It's a slider. So you're gonna press the slider down toward the back of the phone to put your phone in silent or vibrate mode. Now when in silent mode, you can see an orange dot and the screen will briefly display a ringer off indicator. In silent mode, the iPhone doesn't ring, doesn't play alerts, but your iPhone will still vibrate. Press the slider up or toward the front of the phone to put it in ring mode. In ring mode, the iPhone plays all sounds. The orange dot will disappear and the screen will briefly display the ring indicator. Now here's a smart tip. Use the ring silence switch as your standard action when attending a movie, a concert, religious service, or any place where you do not want your iPhone to interrupt the event. Remember that when your iPhone vibrates, it can still interrupt a meeting if exposed or sitting on a hard surface. If you need to positively ensure that your iPhone is quiet, consider shutting it down. Now, there are times when you simply need to control the volume of your iPhone, including the ringer and the volume of all sounds coming from your iPhone speaker. This is accomplished by using the two volume buttons on the left edge of your phone. The action is very simple. The upper button increases the volume, the lower one decreases it. Now these buttons control different volumes depending upon your actions. During a phone call, the buttons adjust the loudness of the caller with whom you are speaking. During other times, the buttons change the loudness of the ringer, alerts, music, and other sounds that play through either your iPhone speaker or attached headsets or speakers. Watch the screen as you adjust the volume and note the ring indicator and the volume bar on the screen. One final smart tip before we go. If you are ever embarrassed because your phone rings at a bad time, quickly silence it by tapping either of the volume buttons or the sleep-wake button. It's the fastest way to silence your ringer. Then take your time and use your ring silence switch to turn off the ringer. You can find a step-by-step -step and printable recipe on the SeniorTechClub.com website. Search for recipe number 101. Thanks for watching. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep sharing. See you later. Thank you.